We've been looking at Rome, and we're going to look at one of the most famous Roman buildings of all, the Colosseum. So, first thing I've done is obviously looked up a picture of a Colosseum. I've used Google. Other search engines are available. Have a look at what it looks like. It's a bit broken down in here. I tried to find a picture that actually is when it was back in the day, because that's what we're thinking about. Back in the day when Rome, Rome was great. And the Colosseum wasn't a crumbling mess. It was a full amplifier to go and watch sporting events. Anyway, so I've got a picture half and half, but I'm looking at this picture today particularly because I'm looking at what my the basic shapes that are going to build up the Colosseum. The first shape I've got is obviously a giant cylinder and with a hole in it. So basically like a tube. So how can I build that in Tinkercad? Well, I need my cylinder to start off with. So let's bring my cylinder on. Let's make it nice and big. There's my nice Colosseum. If I hold shift, remember, it automatically does the same sizes. If I let go, obviously I can squish it enough, and I don't want a squish cylinder. So I need to make sure if that's 82, I can click on this and change that to 82. Yeah, got one of them. Easiest thing to do there is to duplicate it. So how do I duplicate my shape? Well, I can either click on it, and then I can Control C, Control V, and that duplicates my shape for me. Or I can go up to here and I can copy and paste it, can't I? Yeah. So. Once I've done that, this one's the same size as that. So how can I change the dimensions? Well, I can change the dimensions just by clicking on one of these corners. Now if it's 82, 82, they're matching each other. So I probably want to take off about, I would say 10, and then I've got five on each side. If I take away 10, haven't I said? 82 take away 10, that's gonna be 72. And this is going to be 72. Let's have a look at how that fits. Does that fit nicely? We have a bit all the way around. Mm, it's okay. Easiest way to get them, I hold shift again, click. I've selected both. And then I've got the align tool up here, align. So I can align it to the middle and I can align it to the middle. Yeah, and that makes it perfectly in the right shape. If I select my middle one and turn it into a hole, and I've got my middle one being a hole. I can make it a little slightly taller so you can see it nicely being a hole all the way through the shape. You see, if I've made a mistake, I can just go back. I want to just move it downwards, so I click on that one and make it move it down. And if I press shift again and select them both, and I join them, oink, I have now got my hole and my shape with a hole. I probably need it taller, so I can click on it. I can grab that middle one and make it now a bit longer. I want it a bit longer. Can have a look at it if i don't like that the walls i think the walls are actually too thick well the reason i'm saying the walls aren't too thick is because if i'm going to ever end up 3d printing it i don't want a really thin wall because otherwise it will collapse and it'll turn back into this type of coliseum and not this type of coliseum because if you look walls are quite thick from the top yeah so i've got my basic shape of the coliseum now that is what i reckon a coliseum look like so I'll pull that to one side for a second. I can move it all the way across here. The great thing about computers, you can go back and adjust again. So what's the next shape I need to look for? Well, I think the key one here is all these arches. Look at how many arches there are. So I need to make an arch shape. Well, how can I do that? Let's look at the shapes I've got on the right hand side. Well, if I take a box and like extend it like that, yeah, I look at it from this angle. I've got a basic shape, and then I probably just need a rounded roof on top. Yeah, so I get my rounded roof. And how do I get that on top of this? Well, I need to make sure the same sizes. So I look how high it is. That's 20 at the moment. So I can click on my arrow, move it up, and you see how it says 15 here? Or well, I want that to be 20, because I want it to be 20 off the ground. And that'll make sure it's perfectly on top of my box yeah that's how look how wide it is so it's 20 wide so I'll look how wide my box is oh it's 19 wide so it's a tiny bit different so if i make that 20 it should be the same width as my arch now i just need to line everything up so i've got this being oops let's have a look at this box it is 71 long so i need to get this 71 long and that'll fit on top of it. How can I get that on there nice and easily? Hold shift again, select them both, go up to here, align, and I can align it in the middle and in the middle here. 
and then I've got that perfectly on top of my box. And then the best thing I want to do now is click on that, click on that hold shift and click on both of them, and then I can join my shapes together. There you go, and I've got my perfectly good arch. Yeah, might look a bit big compared to my Colosseum, but I can change that once I've got my nice arch all together. Excellent job. Okay, the next job is to get it into proportion. So let's bring my Colosseum back. Let's have a look at the picture again. They are quite small, there's lots of them. Can I fit that many in? That uh, depends. Let's have a go at it and see what we can do. So, first things first, I want to get my Colosseum to my arch to be roughly the right size. So I can bring it to be slightly smaller and bring it in. Let's have a look, compare that. Oops, a daisy. Let's move that across and compare it. And if I put that in there, would that look good? I think that's looking very good actually. And what I can do is I could extend it on and longward so it comes out on both sides. So it saves me having to do a hole on both sides. Yeah. Let me align that so it's nicely in the middle. So I've got a middle again. So there we go. So that being the middle of the Colosseum and be coming out on both sides. And you see how that center point has got it coming out both sides. Yeah. That's looking quite good at the moment. So all I need to do now is I'll take my arch. I'll take my arch, I will copy, I will paste, or I can just hit this one and it duplicates it. So there you go, it's duplicated. There are two there now. Watch this, if I move this one, look, there's one there and one there. Yeah. So what do I want? Well, I want another arch and I want to twist it. So I've got this one here that allows me to twist it. If I hold shift, it does it in 45 increments and I'll do it 90. So I'll do 90 there and I'll pull it across and it can be my cross whip. So that can be my arches here. So I've got my arch shape coming out both sides again. And then if I duplicate it again, there we go. And I get that and I do, what could I do? I'll do my 45s. So I'd be putting it across here. And then let me do duplicate again. And I'll do my 45 that way, and it goes in here, looking good so far, I know they're not holes yet, but don't worry about that at the moment, and then I probably want, what's between 45, I want one in between here I reckon, and then that's probably enough, don't want too many, otherwise if I do end up printing it off, I will have problems with my uh, printer. So there you go, I want to put a one in there, so it's halfway house, so uh, yeah, it's about there. And then duplicate again. So where's my one, here we go. And get that, and I want that one, and I've done that one, I need that one, don't I? There we go, put it in here, and keep going, I need two more, don't I? So I've got all them around here. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, and I need two more that side. So let's duplicate. Ooh, I've automatically got one that way. How odd. And then duplicate, and I've got one there. Oh, it's automatically done it for me. For wonders of computers. That's great. So there I've got my overall for all the arches that are going to be on the bottom row. Let's go back and look at my picture. And I need three rows of them. One, two, three, don't I? So let's look at how we can do that. Well, once I've got all these in place, excellent job. They're all looking fantastic. Just always check, make sure you look at it from every angle to make sure they're always coming out. It doesn't matter if some come out further than others, as long as they're all sticking out, because at the end of the day, we're eventually going to turn them into holes, and we'll do that now. So first off, let's just move my cylinder out of the way, and let's select all of these. Make sure I've got all of them. Hopefully got all of them. I could group them all together. Makes my life a lot easier. There you go. They're all now grouped. And I'm going to turn them all into holes. And there you go. I've got a whole bunch of holes there. Yeah. So now if I was to put this shape over the top. If I make a mistake. Just go back. Undo. Put it over the top. Get it in the middle. There we go. I've got them all coming out. So now all I need to do is with each one of these. Click, duplicate, it's going to make everything look a bit freaky, uh, but I can move it up, there's my next row, 
coming from my angle, I can move it a little bit down, so I've got a nice gap in between there, and then I could duplicate that one again. Oh, and it's automatically done it for me. Wow, sometimes these computers are fantastic. Now look at the gap between there and the top. Now look at my picture, there's actually quite a bit of gap at the top of the uh, Colosseum. That's not a problem though, I don't need to change my holes, I can just click on my shape and just make it, oops, not that, not the circle, it's this little box in the middle I want to grab hold of and make that slightly taller. And then hopefully if I select all of that and group it, cross my fingers and now if I click off and select, there we go. There is my Colosseum, all the way around. Okay, tinkerers, hopefully you've got a beautiful Colosseum. Now from this point on, you can decide to either build it up or destroy it. So we go back to our Colosseum image. We've got obviously what it looked like in ancient times and what it looked like in modern times. This is entirely up to you from what, how you develop your Colosseum from this point on. Do you want to build it up like ancient times, put in a seating area, put in the stadium in the middle, look at how it's banked, or would you like to destroy it and make it look like a Colosseum of the present day? Let's look how you could do the destroying, because building it up, you've basically got the outer shape and then you can work on the walls. Let's look how we can uh, quickly destroy it. Well, first off, we've got this double Colosseum going on, these kind of double walls. So first things, let's just duplicate it. We go up here, up here, and press the duplicate button. Nothing really happens, but what has actually happened is there's now two of them. So I click on it, hold shift, and I, everything grows all together, and you can see one expanding out of the other. If I make sure I press and click, hold shift and click on both, and I can align them, bring them all back so they're nicely aligned. One here, and one here, and then it puts, there you go, I've got my double Colosseum going on. Now the outside Colosseum, half of it, it's pretty much been destroyed at this point, and then the other bits have got chunks cut out. So how can we do that? Let's grab a big uh, box hole, make it really big, nice and big that way, nice and tall. And then, here we go, I could just basically take that off, but the thing is, it's at an angle. So I just want to zoom out, oh, I made that really big, and just grab hold of that twist and tilt it slightly. So I've got, my Colosseum getting cut off in an angle. Make sure it's nicely through. A bit down maybe, there we go, just fit it on the right place. Get everything, there. always check it from every angle. So I've got everything cut through. So I've just basically, I just need to get the hole so it cuts off the entire Colosseum. And then I just want to select the outside one by clicking on the outside one. Hold shift, click on the hole, group them together. Boom, there we go. Cut off. There's my half my Colosseum gone from the outside. I could also do this technique by cutting out a few holes out of the inside Colosseum. I don't want to look it too nice. So I get my box tilted on the side a bit. So I've basically got that corner cutting in. Bring it into my Colosseum, move it up using my top arrow. There we go. So it's just going to have a little chunk and then I just click on it. Hold shift, click on the other one group them together i'll think about it for a little second and there we go it's got a nice little chunk cut out of it i could keep doing that keep battering it down and i can keep destroying it until i have my destroyed coliseum and i could also think about the stadiums this is where i would like you to take it on and see with your own imagination how you could adapt this either destroying it or building it up to really create a lovely Colosseum. My final tip is obviously to just put in a base. You can do that easily. Let's group these two objects together. So it makes it one whole object and then I can see how big I need my base. My base is 115 by 107. So let's go with 116 nice big circle. So grab a nice cylinder. Minutes. Click on the corner and then I can just change these to 116 I said didn't I both ways 116 and it's got a nice big circle there and I can bring them in together by holding shift clicking on both getting my align tool up aligning it that direction and aligning it 
that direction and I bring it all together who knew that's a bit of a thick base isn't it so just click off click on my base grab that middle one and bring it right down there we go I only want a small floor to it and there you go I've got a nice base on my Colosseum my slowly destroying Colosseum all right tinkerers please once you've done it post some pictures and I'd love to see how you have either built up your Colosseum or destroyed it looking forward to seeing some of your work